Did you know that it's roughly a decade since the very first Surface product hit the market? Back then, it was pretty questionable and it definitely had a rocky start. But fast forward 10 years and we now have this. This is the Microsoft Surface Pro 9 and it's probably what Microsoft dreamed of right from the very start. It's now arguably the best in the business and it's setting the industry standard for others. Fun fact, you can surely sit on this with it fully opened on the kickstand and that wouldn't break. Honestly, if you're talking about Surface products in general, this is probably the design that first comes to mind, the hybrid 2-in-1 tablet PC per se. And honestly, it's also probably Microsoft's main focus. So if you're familiar with the Surface Pro in general, well, this design is going to be pretty iconic and pretty much instantly recognizable. With that said, there is one difference that I've noticed with the Surface Pro 9, and I believe this started with the Surface Pro 8, and that's the fact that Microsoft is now using aluminum for the chassis. For the longest time, they've actually been using magnesium right up to the Surface Pro 7. And the reason for that is because of the lighter weight magnesium provides. The Surface Pro 7 weighed about 770 grams or about 1.7 pounds, while the Pro 8 and now the Pro 9, that weight increases to about 878 grams or about 1.93 pounds. Now 100 grams or about a quarter of a pound might not sound like much, but it is worthwhile to take note. Apart from that, it still retains the iconic design that the Surface Pro is known for, and that's a good thing. Really minimalistic design, pretty robust chassis, and you can jazz it up a little by simply choosing a different coloured Surface Pro signature keyboard. Unfortunately for us, we just have the standard black version here, and it's not even Alcantara, so while it does work, it's not the fanciest option. But design aside, let's talk about the display, because this is properly good. While it might not have changed at all from the previous generation, still maintaining the same high resolution in that 3x2 aspect ratio, with support for up to 120Hz including dynamic 120Hz, that's not a bad thing. It's still awesome for general usage all the way to content creation. The speakers are also really well tuned, giving clear highs and mids with a little thumb on the low end, making for a great listening experience be it just for music or getting immersed in your movies combined with that beautiful display. It goes without saying that this does support 10-point multi-touch, so you can get all creative with how you interact with the Pro 9, or you can use it just by itself without any accessories should you wish to do so, just like any other tablet. Arguably, the best use case I've noted thus far with myself and with friends is to use it for digital signatures, which you can use your hand, your finger, or with the new Surface Slim Pen 2. Now to be clear, all of these are actually separate purchases, so you do have to add the cost up in order to know the actual damage to your wallet. But honestly, if you're even looking at a Surface Pro lineup, investing in the keyboard and the pen should be a no-brainer. The pen is just really comfortable to hold on, and it does feel pretty natural. There's even haptics in it to better mimic the feel of pen on paper. Use it to take quick notes, use it for drawing, use it for general browsing even, it all feels great. Best of all, it will simply charge when placed back in its slot on the Surface Pro Signature Keyboard or this, and that also keeps it out of sight and well protected while using the keyboard normally, or totally folded and kept in your bag or more. Probably the best design to store away a pen in my opinion. Now talking a little bit about keyboard here, as mentioned, we do not have the Alcantara version so it's arguably not the best experience you could have. It still works great and the typing experience is still pretty stellar, although we do note that Compared to the Surface Laptop series, well, there's a little bit more flex, well, given the nature of it. So, something to take note. Now, we do want to touch upon the kickstand mechanism a little bit. What can we really say? It's arguably the best in the business. It just feels right and you can position it at any angle with ease. And yes, you can literally sit on it and it wouldn't break. It's that good. Others will definitely have to learn a thing or two from Microsoft. The last neat feature that's pretty amazing with the Surface Pro 9 is the fact that the SSD is easily accessible. Flip open the kickstand and there's a small cover in the bottom corner that's actually just magnetically attached. Simply press on the side with a small dimple cutout and you'll pop the cover up like a lever. Remove that and you get instant access to the SSD. One thing to note is that this does use the smallest M.2 SSD form factor, so if you do want to do your own upgrade, make sure you get the right SSD size. 
We then come to performance, and this is where things get a little bit interesting. For our model, we specifically requested to take a look at the Intel variant featuring the latest 12th gen processor. But should you want to, there's actually a Snapdragon variant as well, and that's the model that makes the Surface Pro 9 5G capable. However, many other reviewers have already noted that with the Snapdragon variant, performance still leaves much to be desired, and 5G isn't something that everybody is looking for as of yet. Thus, we took a look at the Intel variant, for this arguably makes much more sense. Not only will you have more choices in your desired configuration, you're getting more for your buck for sure. For our model, we have the Intel Core i7-1265U, 16GB of RAM and a 256GB SSD. And this will set you back 2500 Singapore dollars or roughly 1600 US dollars. Performance on the Core i7-1265U is splendid, being able to take on multiple tasks efficiently. Multiple tabs in Chrome is of no issues, editing photos in Lightroom is a great experience, and you can even play Genshin Impact with moderate settings should you wish to do so. Battery life on the other hand will be dependent on the power and refresh rate setting you set, but give or take, a day's use is of no issues, easily 8 hours and more. So there you have it, the Microsoft Surface Pro 9, arguably still the best hybrid 2-in-1 tablet PC device in the business. If you're looking to get one right now, you would say, well, go for it. Highly recommended. It is really good. But if you are already a Surface Pro owner, we would say only to upgrade if you own the Surface Pro 6 or before. The 7 and 8 are still really capable because they already spot 11th gen Intel processors, and with the 7, you might arguably still prefer it thanks to the magnesium chassis. Personal opinion, I'm probably more of a Surface laptop kind of person and I prefer that much more, but if you're someone who really needs the hybrid nature of the Surface Pro, well, the Surface Pro 9 is honestly just good. Good as ever. Kudos to Microsoft. Anyways, if you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below and definitely do give this video a like and subscribe to us for more of such content. Don't forget to follow us on all our social channels such as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and TikTok and we'll see you in the next one. See ya!